Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Ford has just unveiled the all new 2022 Bronco Raptor, the off road beast. Now, this has got a lot of stuff going on that really makes this vehicle special, but one of the big things is the chassis and the suspension that really set it apart from all of the rest of the Bronco. So we're gonna take a deep dive into the chassis, the suspension, and some of the drive line that really set it apart. Underpinning the new 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor is a chassis that's highly unique, featuring a number of upgrades and fortifications to give it far more capability and performance, as well as make it tough enough to last in the rough. Ford was good enough to build this color-coded chassis mock-up that really helps us all better see and understand the upgrades and the changes over the standard Bronco chassis. Blue means upgraded frame sections, yellow means new suspension hardware. Let's start with the basics. With its unique suspension and axle hardware and its larger 37-inch tires, the Bronco Raptor has an increased track of 73.6 inches. That's 8.6 inches wider than the normal Bronco. It's raised considerably with 13.1 inches of ground clearance, an increase of 4.8 inches more than the base. Suspension travel is also way up some 13 inches at the front and 14 inches at the rear. This is an increase of 60% and 40%. At the front are revised shock towers for the Bronco Raptor's coilover Fox 3.1 inch diameter internal bypass semi active dampers, which here have integrated reservoirs. On the dampers, you can see the control module at the lower end and the wiring harness associated with it. The steel upper control arm has a drop curve to facilitate its lift without compromising its range of motion and relationship to the unique aluminum spindle upright. You can see an electronic position sensor attached that helps the adaptive suspension system make its calculations on the fly, some 100 times per second. Also new is a beefed up lower control arm that features a large jounce bumper that meets up with a stout bottom out pad on the frame. The spindle upright ties into a Raptor specific steering rack that has larger diameter tie rods and revised geometry. Driving the front wheels is an upgraded Dana 44 Advantech electronic locking differential featuring a 210 millimeter ring gear and upgraded half shafts. Seen in blue is a beefed up mounting bracket to handle the additional power and torque of its 400 plus horsepower EcoBoost V6. Also in the mix here, you can see the hydraulically actuated disconnecting sway bar mounted rear of the front axle axis. The rear end gets a healthy dose of upgrade as well, starting with more substantial frame saddles for its coilover Fox 3.1 inch dampers here with external reservoirs located by some pretty exotic looking aluminum casings. Shown in yellow are unique steel upper and lower control arms which mount to revised frame brackets to provide extra travel, articulation, and durability. Similar to the front, suspension position sensors are seen at each side for the adaptive dampers and bottom out bumpers are more substantial. Now you can jump without worry. Its unique rear axle housing sports a structural aluminum differential cover with a Raptor R molded in. Behind that cover is a semi-float Dana 50 heavy duty Advantech locking differential with a 235 millimeter ring gear. Ford Performance axles from the Bronco DR race trucks are also inside. Notable here is the dual exhaust system which has a driver adjustable dial -a sound capability with its active valves mounted just behind a pretty unique X-pipe. Featuring what Ford calls a near equal length full dual exhaust, it has a fascinating third leg from the muffler directly into the center of the X-pipe. I find that pretty interesting, I'm not sure why. Expected on a vehicle like this is a significant collection of bash and skid plates to protect the expensive drivetrain from your travels. One last item of note is at the rear, there's a unique trailer hitch receiver because here, with its wider track and upgraded chassis, the Bronco Raptor can now tow 4,500 pounds. That's an increase of 1,000 pounds over the stock models. Well, there you have it for all the deep dive nuts and bolts detail that's kind of hard to get into on Test Driven TV in a first look video. This is what we do here at TDTV Garage, the nuts and bolts stuff that I know some of you love out there. So if you want to see more of it, subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. That's what we do here. It's our new channel. Or you can just see our latest video right there. Either way, stay tuned.